Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace to the rest of you. This is Black Heart signing Black in again. Uh, asking you guys to hit the um, share button first, actually, and the like and subscribe button if you feel so inclined afterwards. And I'm asking you to do this for a specific reason. And that is that the message is more important than the messenger. I'm going to say this straight up. Matriarchal moochas are not allowed. You can be willing to talk about men and women in ways that we need to be talked about. You can be willing to look at both sides of it and render a verdict based on both observations. But what I'm not going to tolerate anymore is matriarchal niggas uh, coming to my channel saying some stuff uh, as if to try to diminutize or delegitimize legitimate patterns I'm pointing out. There's no time for that. If there was, I wouldn't make time for it. I wouldn't respect it. At the end of the day, you've got to understand that the problem is not black men. When it comes to the relationship between black men and black women, you have individual black men that are the problems. You don't have the bulk of black men pushing away black women. You do have the bulk of black women, especially if they're visually attractive, pushing away black men. That you do have. They think they're not doing it, but they are. How are they doing it? It's simple. If you make two mutually exclusive demands, you're part of the problem. And you have to understand, man or woman, that white folks have an agreement with each other and understanding. They don't even have to sit down and talk about it. They just naturally understand, silently understand, that if you are a masculine black man, you are supposed to be denied income. It is supposed to be reduced for you. Opportunities and promotions are supposed to be reduced for you. Why? Because it's not in their best interest for masculine, manly acting black men to also have money. They went after Muhammad Ali to make him broke. They didn't kill Malcolm before they killed him because he was already broke and struggling. That's it. That's the end of it. Malcolm was able to take his family on one vacation to Miami. That was the only time. So he died. He didn't even have a bank account. He had no money. He had to be buried, actually, uh, in, um, in a Christian cemetery because no Muslim cemetery would take him. And some non-Muslim socialist and communist stepped in to support his widow and his children for a while. The Muslims didn't do it. I'm not talking about the NOI that called themselves Muslims. I'm talking about others that were actually Muslims wouldn't do it. Scared of white folks. And they knew they were going to, they understood what was going to happen. They're going to get in trouble for trying to do this. Why? Because he was a manly acting black man. That's how it works. It's the game. Ma Martin started to talk that stuff and they shot him for it. So at the end of the day, it came down to the simple fact that white folks got this idea and we got sisters walking around talking about a man, he needs to act like a man and he's got to have a bag because we're trying to secure the bag. You got sisters sitting up here saying two of these things, which is not necessarily unreasonable, but what they're not saying is we're going to kill these white men for making these rules that you can't have both. But they ain't never saying that. Matter of fact, let me tell you what sisters are doing. Some of you matriarchal niggas that love to come along and say, well, Blackheart's just saying this and women don't want him. You always want to make it about that. Even though I've already told you I've been selected and unselected. Even though I already told you I'm traveling now. I'm outside of the country in which I live and work in a neighboring country to meet the family members of the lady I'd like to marry. And so far, they're fine with it. I need to meet her uncle one more time because the last meeting was unplanned and it was brief. It was accidental and it was too brief because of the scheduling. So I'm not in that situation. And yet you niggas keep coming along. You jigaboos, you spear chuckers, you Tarzan chasing, grass skirt wearing, coconut cracking, buck jumping, spear chucking ass niggas. Keep coming to my channel and saying, oh, Blackheart's just mad because you, you do it to Edward Anderson as well. You keep trying to make it about that. Even when we've told you that we've been on both, we've had both experiences like most men do in their lifetimes. But what we're seeing is that the, that the market is still jacked up. 
Well, go and get your white bitch then. Well, you know, actually, a lot of us would rather not get the cave Beckys. Like I told you, they're dangerous. <laughs> I told you that before. I don't think y'all want to believe it, but they're dangerous. I could have told any one of you they're dangerous. A lot of us know this, even when we don't want to admit it. A lot of guys who say, man, I'll do anything. It's all pink on the inside. They, they still know them white women are dangerous. But you guys, man, y'all something else. You, you, oh, y'all come to my channel with that bullshit. Y'all come to my channel and you go to Edward's channel with this. You just mad, but y'all go to, y'all even try that with BGS. You just mad because you didn't get no pussy. Oh, see, you, you guys, you keep trying to project the lowest common denominators on everybody else. You niggas are not allowed on my channel anymore. Your comments are not allowed. If you have a logical argument you want to make, I'm going to listen. You come here with that bullshit, I'm going to delete your stuff. Fuck freedom of speech. Have a good one. Blackheart, sign a blackout. Asalaamu Alaikum.